Hey guys, this is Jake Alexander with Casually Commerce, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up your Shopify payments account so that way you can start receiving payouts when you begin making sales with your Shopify store. So, in order to get started, you just need to log into the dashboard of your store, and then we're going to come down here to settings. And then once we're at settings, we're going to go to payment providers. And this is where we can go ahead and choose which payment providers we want to go ahead and use. And you can see that there's a lot of options here. Now, really quickly before we do this, I do want to scroll down and just confirm that your payment authorization is set to automatic. This makes things um, a lot easier and it also uh, saves you the hassle if somebody, for example, um, purchases an order and you know you fulfill it accidentally before you actually get the payment and then you never just get the payment so it's a lot easier to just keep this at automatic so when it comes to setting up your payment providers um, there's really only two that you're going to be using one is Shopify payments and two is PayPal so we're gonna go ahead and get into Shopify payments here so if you don't know um, Shopify payments is essentially just um, Stripe it's just Shopify has partnered with Stripe and it's kind of a um, custom setup of Stripe, but Stripe is a third party um, payment provider and they process credit card um, transactions. So Shopify payments is literally just Stripe. So they've just partnered together. So Shopify payments is the easiest one to set up. Um, there are others you can do if you go to chain provider you can select a third party credit provider here and you can see there's a bunch of different ones here but i would recommend just sticking with shopify payments now i am located in the united states so if you're outside of the united states in another country you might need to use something different so what we're going to go ahead and do now when it comes to setting up shopify payments it's pretty simple you just need to complete account setup in here and now you just have to enter some sensitive information. So you, you can see here, you type in your business type. So most likely you're an individual or sole proprietor, but if you already have an LLC or if you're in a partnership or if you've registered a corporation, you'd go ahead and do that. And then you would enter your EIN number if you have one and then your uh, business address and then you enter your personal details here and then right here is actually pretty important in product details so uh, you just kind of want to talk about what you are selling so in this sample store here um, i was selling um, acne products so i could put in um, online retailer of skin care products so you just want to put something like this in here, just a little brief description of what you're selling. So that way Stripe knows, uh, because they have to have some sort of vetting process, but you know, pretty much I've never seen anyone um, not get approved before, but I still wouldn't risk, you know, putting something stupid in here. Definitely just put a nice clean looking description of what you're selling. And then down here, you can go ahead and put in, um, I wouldn't put like a personal number in, like this is a Google voice number. So you can put in a Google voice number or your business number if you have a 1-800 number because this information will be shown on your customer's credit card statement. So uh, if it was me, I, you know, I don't like having my personal number anywhere out there. So I wouldn't want that here. And then the statement descriptor right here, you can see if we change it, you can see this is what's going to show up on our customer's credit card history. So if you want to put the name of your store here or you could put the name of like if you have the actual company name you could put like company llc and then down here you just go ahead and put your banking information and then complete account setup and most likely you're going to be approved instantly and you'll be good to go so once you're approved you're going to be all set and then what you'll be able to do actually uh, once you're approved is you can edit here and you'll see that you can actually um, change which types of credit cards you want to accept so if you don't want to accept certain credit cards you can go ahead and edit that here um, I'm not really sure why you wouldn't want to accept certain credit cards to be honest but that is something you can do 
All right, so now that Shopify payments is set up, you're pretty much um, good to go. So I just wanted to quickly let you know um, how the process works once it's set up and you start to get your first orders coming in. So um, let's say a customer buys your product for $30. So obviously you're not going to receive that entire $30 because Shopify is going to take a small um, transaction fee and then Stripe's going to take their transaction fee. And if you open this up here, you can see the payment processing right here. So if you were to make a $30 sale, um, it would you would lose 2.4% of that plus 30 cents. And whenever you upgrade your Shopify plan to go ahead and get a higher paying Shopify plan, what it does is it lowers this processing fee right here. So what I normally recommend is the only time that you really need to upgrade beyond the basic Shopify plan is when you're making enough sales to where um, you'll actually just make more money to go ahead and get a lower payment processing rate. So that is the main draw of upgrading your Shopify plan is to get in a actual lower payment processing rate because uh, eventually you do hit a point where um, you're losing money by staying on the basic plan because of this percentage right here. And as far as the payment delay, um, payments aren't going to be transferred to the associated bank account immediately. Normally there's a two to three day delay. So normally you will receive all of the money from the sales that you made a few days ago. And if you receive any refunds or get any, um, if you issue any refunds rather within the product section or order section, um, it's going to be withdrawn from the linked bank account. It's not going to be withdrawn from the pending balance. It's going to come from the bank account. And if you get any chargebacks, that's also going to come out of your bank account as well. So with that said, I think I've pretty much covered everything in regards to setting up Shopify payments and how it works. If I miss something, be sure to let me know in the comments and I'll try and answer as quickly as possible. If you liked this video and found it helpful, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more content and I will see you guys in the next video.